Well, welcome to sports. George Adegenier is here. Coronavirus continues to ruin the game, the beautiful game of football. Yeah, quite a number of um, changes to mm. the, the initial plan of games that were expected today in the UEFA Champions League. We've got the second legs of the round of 16. And as you're aware, you know, tonight you need to win or you're out of the competition because mm. we are looking for the eight quarter finalists and we had two games. The, in Germany, there's Leipzig up against Tottenham Hotspur. And you know, Jose Moreno is in charge of Spurs. They lost in the first leg by one goal to nil. No problems in that game. I think we're going to see fans in Germany, uh, the RB Arena. But three other games for this week have been, have been affected. Mm. So the second game tonight between Valencia and Atlanta is going to be played behind closed doors. Mm. I'm sure you've read that. Yeah. Now, it's so boring. I don't know how many of you saw the game between Juventus and Inter Milan behind closed doors. Because um, how do you enjoy the game of football? Yeah, even the ambience is something no else. Even the ambience is something supporters. else. Because you could virtually hear the coaches scream and hear the players and you could hear technical teams screaming and it was and it's also got some form of psychological effect on the players because yeah, you know sometimes you, you, you when cannot it's not yeah, because you have well, to be pumped up you yeah, have to walk exactly. into the arena knowing the fans are singing the anthems they are chanting everything they are they are baking it's a fantastic atmosphere not too much on the side of financial gains or financial mm. woes because in europe there are a lot of advanced tickets and before the game a lot of tickets have been sold already so really really bad stuff as well the game between Paris Saint-Germain and Borussia Dortmund tomorrow is also going to be played behind closed doors and the latest coming in the game between Barcelona and Napoli as well will be played behind closed doors so four games to look forward to just one is going to be played with fans in the uh, the Red Bull Arena that's the mm. game between Leipzig and Tottenham Hotspur now even before I came uh, on set there are there are, there are some discussions right now in the United Kingdom to try and understand at which point they will decide to play English Premier League games behind closed doors. That's a huge one as well. Yeah. Now, early this morning, we had indication that the Indian Wells tennis competition, which is, most, call it, most people call it the fifth Grand Slam. You know, we have four, we have four Grand Slams mm. in, in tennis in, the, in a year, but they call it the fifth Grand Slam because loads of these tennis players love to go there. It's such a big event. That event has been cancelled, it's been postponed. And look, it's, it's really tight with what we're getting in, in the all Serie A games that we're seeing last night. Those of you who watched Prime, all Serie A games have been put on hold till the 3rd of April. So now we're asking ourselves the questions, then what's going to happen to the Euros that's about taking place? And even more importantly, the FIFA World Cup qualifiers. What's FIFA going to do about the Africa Cup of Nations qualifiers and the World Cup qualifiers? It's so tight. Any sport that has got to do with a, a lot of movement mm -hmm. of human beings yes. is under threat. Yeah. We know that the Formula One season for 2020 must begin this weekend. Mm. At least Formula One have indicated that they will go on with the Australian Grand Prix. Remember, they have cancelled. Singapore was yeah. cancelled. Singapore was cancelled. We know that the Chinese Grand Prix definitely off. Now, the Vietnam Grand Prix as well is likely to be cancelled because China and Vietnam share a border. So this is what uh, coronavirus is doing to us. And, and I think last week I was telling you about the first ever Africa Basketball League also cancelled because of coronavirus. So we are here just wondering what's going to happen, but things are looking tight. And we're talking about the story because as we go on, we'll be hearing from some Ghanaian players who applied a trade in, in Syria to tell us what it, what it feels like mm. to know that your games are off to the 3rd of April. And a player like Mubarak Kokasu is coming from China. He's, he's in the country. What's happening there? Because he has been inactive because of coronavirus. And there's a young boy, William Mamposa. You remember, during the Ghana University Sports Association mm. Games, he won 3,000, 5,000 meters gold. He did win 10,000 meters gold, broke records. He was on his way to the World Marathon to take place in Poland. That, again, the World Athletics body has, come, has announced that it's been cancelled. So um, I, I really hope that the sponsors can understand the situation but this is going to be really bad imagine you multimedia had put a lot of money into uh, the euros 2020 and at this point you don't know whether it's going to be cancelled or not it's such a such a bad feeling very but, worrying but clearly actually. we are going for the health of human beings we are going for the lives of human beings at the expense of the money and all of that we Absolutely. can sort all of that if we have lives so yeah. that's where we are you know on this but uh, hopefully we can get it the only thing coronavirus has not affected for tonight a live commentary on Joy 99.7 <laughs> FM. That's for sure. Nothing happens with it because it's going to be delivered as always. I'll be on with Gary Elsmith. We've got Tottenham Hotspur up against Leipzig or Leipzig up against Tottenham Hotspur. Would he be knocked out of this competition? And it's a prestigious competition. The elites uh, of Europe meet here where they play mm. the posh club. 
and Manchester United is hoping to be part next season. Yeah, I, I knew you'd bring Manchester no, United in. Uh, but you know, the this. global cases in, in terms of the coronavirus yes, yes, yes. has hit uh, 110,000 now. Yeah. We're just moving on with those and, and numbers. And I think that, that, that's the worry for most people is, is how quickly this is spreading yes. rather than how many people it's killing. Like, exactly. It, it, the, the, spread right. is, the spread is crazy. Okay, George, and, uh, well, thank you very much for well, sports. Mm -hmm. uh, football being slowed down because of coronavirus. We've got a lot more news on myjawline.com. My name is Mama Vyoso Abwaji. On behalf of the production team, we thank you for watching.